Hello, thanks for joining us today. My name is Kim Murdoch and this is Arts Hub Online. Today we're going to be learning how to do our first craft project together and this is something that you can make with things you have at home. So for example, today we are going to be learning how to make a really cool vest just like this. This is a vest that you can actually wear if you're a kid, that is, and you make it out of a brown paper bag. So guys, today we're only gonna need a couple of things to complete this project. One of the things you should have is some masking tape. You also are gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need some kind of marker, but I of course use Sharpies, but any kind of marker is just fine. You're gonna need some glue. I prefer glue sticks. They're a lot easier, a lot less messy. And they work really well. I'm gonna uh, use some markers as well. So if you have markers at home, any kind of markers will do just fine. But of course, what you really need to make this project is a brown paper bag. This is just a regular grocery bag. This one's from Trader Joe's. It doesn't matter where it's from, and it can be bigger. If you have a bigger paper bag, that's fine. But you definitely need a paper bag. So guys, you're probably wondering how we're going to turn a paper bag into a vest that looks like this and eventually into a vest that's finished like this one. We're going to help you one step at a time. All right, guys. So the first step for making this vest out of a paper bag is to remove the handles. So the handles come off pretty easily, but you got to be careful that you don't rip a hole in the bag. So what I do is I hold it down with my fingers and I just peel it back. It's okay if some of the paper comes off on the handle, it's not a big deal. So when you're ready, just flip the bag over and keep pulling off those handles until they're gone. These you can recycle. So now we have a bag and what I'd like you to do is place the bag on the table in front of you so that the opening is facing your belly and the part that's the bottom is facing up. The next step is to mark on the paper bag where we're going to cut. So what I'd like you to do is open up whatever marker you have and we're gonna use our hands. Your hands are great for measuring. I'm gonna use three fingers. If you guys have really small hands, you might need to do four fingers, but I'm gonna do three fingers from the edge of my bag and I'm gonna make a mark. And I'm gonna do three fingers on the other side and I'm gonna make a mark. So I'm gonna hold this up so you can see what I'm talking about. I measured in three fingers from either side and I made those marks. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go from that mark down to the corner of the bag. So it looks like this. It's just a curving line that comes down to the corner. So start on that mark you drew and draw a curving line that comes down to the corner. Don't worry if it's not, whoops. Don't worry if it's not exactly the same. You see how these lines curve down on both sides? All right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line for the opening of the vest. And so, as you can see in the front, it's kind of a V-neck, and in the back, it's kind of a U-neck. We can do that no problem, but we're gonna start out with a U-neck shape. So we're gonna measure the straps that go over the shoulders and we're gonna make those three fingers wide as well. So we're gonna use three fingers again and three fingers again. And so I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it. Whoops. You see how I have a mark here and a mark here? And there are three fingers and three fingers, okay? Then I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a U shape to get started. It doesn't matter if it's a perfect U shape. It really doesn't matter if you use more than one line. It just looks like this. All right, guys. So you can go ahead and close your marker up if you've got a Sharpie because you don't want your Sharpie to dry out. The next thing we're going to do is use our scissors. And so this, if you need help from your parents, just let them know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my paper bag and I am going to cut through the whole paper bag. So I'm showing you what this looks like. I went ahead and chopped it off just like that. So I'm gonna be real careful. I'm gonna hold my bag and I'm gonna cut again. And I'm gonna set this aside. So far, 
looking pretty good. Looks like this. So what we're going to do next, as you can imagine, is cut this part out. So here I go. I am cutting it out. And I'm not even exactly on my lines that I drew, and that's fine. It doesn't matter. So not looking too bad. Already looks like a tank top. So what we need to do next is we're going to now place uh, this down again the way we had it. So I want you to notice that you have a flap right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take our masking tape and you can use other types of tape as well. If you have scotch tape or blue painter's tape, that's fine, it doesn't really matter. So I've got myself a nice long piece of tape. It's actually a, a little bit longer than I need it to be, but that's not a problem. I will just make it shorter so that it fits. So we've taped that flap down. Now we're going to turn this over so that is facing down, okay? So tape to flap down, now it's facing down. I'm gonna get our scissors again, and we're going to go like this, and we are gonna hold this open. You see how I've opened it up? We're gonna hold this open, and we're gonna cut right up the middle, slowly. And we're gonna keep on cutting until we have opened up our vest, okay? Don't worry if it's not exactly the same on both sides, it does not matter. So, the next step is the part that is a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. So we're gonna, uh, I want you to uh, notice that this vest has the writing on the inside from the paper bag, right? Well, that's because we flipped it. So we need to flip this vest. So to flip the vest, you just lift it up and you flip it over and you lift it up and you flip it over. And then you think, uh oh, what is happening here? This does not look like a vest anymore, <laughs> but don't worry. It just needs a little bit of a haircut. So here we go. We're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut those pieces right off. And if it's easier for you to lay it down to cut them off, that's fine. Whatever is easiest for you, what you should do. See, so now you might still think, oh boy, this does not look like a vest yet. Well, the good news is all you got to do is fold these inward. So the paper bag already has folds in it. You're just going to use those same folds and you're going to press those down. And fold on the same lines and you my friend are getting closer to having a paper bag vest all right friends so we have our paper bag vest and what we really need to do, to do now is reinforce it so if you remember we put the tape on the that part there are a few other parts that need that tape as well one of them is along the back and also on the shoulders so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take some more of that tape and you're going to go across like this. You can see that my tape is a little too long, right? And that's not a big deal. I'm going to just fold it right over the edge and I'm going to press down gently to make sure that tape is really on there. So that's across the back. Another place we want to reinforce are the shoulders because you can see that there's these flaps. You don't want to cut those flaps off because they make it stronger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up. See how I'm holding it up? I'm going to put a little piece of tape right across the top. I'm going to fold that tape underneath. I'm actually going to do that twice to each shoulder because you really don't want this thing to fall off or rip off, I should say. So I've done two pieces of tape to reinforce the shoulder. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I am taking my time, and you can take as much time as you need. You can pause this video, you can start it and stop it whenever you want to. All right guys, so we have reinforced our vest and we are ready to decorate. All right, so we've reinforced our vest and what we need to do now is create that V-neck in the front. So if, if you look at this example, you'll notice that 
it comes down in the front. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a different shape. So what I'd like you to do, and this is how I do it, I turn the vest upside down so it's facing away from me so that the neck part is close to my belly. Then I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna start cutting down like this until I come down to the end. So it's sort of an odd sort of a wedge shape, but it just makes it easier to create a V-neck in my opinion. So I cut those wedge shapes out and now I have a V-neck. All right, so decorating your vest, it's really fun to make these vests and you can put it on right now and you can wear it around. But what's really fun, I think, and my students and campers have always enjoyed, is all the different kinds of decorating you can do on a vest. So we understand that you might not have all the stuff at home that we would have at art camp. So it's, you know, it's always okay just to use whatever you have. I mean, if you do have hot glue guns and buttons and feathers and sequins, you can just go to town and you can decorate this all you want. This is a brown paper bag is a really uh, sturdy material so you can glue whatever you want to it. But today I just wanted to show you some things you can do with some simple things. So the front of this vest has got some buttons. The buttons are made out of paper and I drew around each button with a Sharpie to give it detail. And uh, these pockets, this is a, this would, I would wear this if I could. If it was big enough, I would wear this. But it's got these really cool V-shaped pockets that are actually dun, 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 real pockets. I know, it's very exciting. And it has my name tag on it. It's got these cool things over the shoulders. Let's look at the back. The back, I really got quite inventive here. I have all this detail work on the back. I've done it with uh, the tape, the Sharpie, and some paper. Now this was really fancy paper I had. If you don't have this at home, you can always recreate it with whatever type of paper you have. So you can either just use the white paper you have at home. It could be copy paper, or art paper, or construction paper. And if you've got some construction paper, that's great. Construction paper is wonderful for this. And you don't even need whole sheets of it. You can have scrap construction paper and that will work just fine. So, first thing I'm gonna do is use my Sharpie. Again, you can use whatever kind of marker you have. And the very first thing I think we should do is do some uh, uh, stitching. So the stitching means that these little short lines, I'm gonna draw this and hold it up for you. It's supposed to look like it's fabric and that it's been sewn together. And this is a really great detail to add to your vest. So just one more minute here and I will hold this up for you. So I just drew some short lines along the inside. I'm gonna do that around the whole thing. All right, so I just wanted to show you how I've drawn the stitch marks all the way around the outside edges of my vest. I've done that on both sides. I've even done it in the, in the uh, side parts here because when you're wearing it, those will show. So it's time now to decorate our vest. So I'm gonna place it down in front of me just like this. And because I've got some construction paper, I'm gonna go ahead and pick green because it's a spring day and I thought that would be fun. But you of course can do whatever colors you want. Um, I'm gonna start with green and if you're just using regular paper like this, you can, you can also color it any color you want. If you want rainbow pockets, you can draw this on white paper and use your markers, it's up to you. But for me, I'm gonna have green. So the first thing I want you to do is take your piece of paper and fold it in half. Now, I'm pretty sure some of my students would tell me that this is hamburger. Um, I think it is. So hamburger, folding. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker and I am going to draw my pocket one time and I am going to end up with two pockets. Now that's a pretty big pocket, but we're gonna make something cool happen. So. Can you guys see how big this is? I'm gonna take my scissors and I am gonna cut like this all the way around. And I might give it a little trim because I wanna make it a little less lumpy, but just get them the way you want them to be, but hold them together. That way they're gonna be the same shape. So that works out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hold this up so you can see, but if this was my vest, these pockets would be this big, which is pretty big, but that's okay. Maybe I'm gonna use this to garden it, who knows. 
But what I want to do is I want to add some detail to these pockets. So I'm going to make it look like they are closed pockets with some buttons by drawing on them like that. And remember when we did all those stitch marks on our vest? Well, the stitch marks make sense on your pockets as well. And it's a really nice detail. So just take a moment, make sure when you are creating your pockets that you're adding details to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that right there. I'm gonna work on my other pocket really quick. It'll just take me a minute. You know, your uh, pocket design can be anything you want. I really want you to be able to be creative and think about what you want this to look like. All right, so I've got two pockets and I've got my vest right here. So I'm gonna open up my glue stick and I am going to put some glue on there. And here's what I wanna say about glue sticks. Working with my campers and my students, I have seen some people use a teeny tiny amount of glue. And you know what happens when you use a teeny tiny amount of glue? It doesn't stick. So use a lot of glue and really cover the area. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pr uh, press this on nice and firm. And do the same thing with my other pocket. So yeah, use a lot of glue. Try to make it kind of symmetrical. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you see how good it looks already? It's got some colorful pockets. The next thing I'm gonna do is close up my glue stick. We don't want them to dry out. I think what I'm gonna do next is add a name tag. Now my name tag always says my name, but in the past we've done things where the name tag said, for example, Safari Guide 2018. That was from a camp we did in 2018 called African Animals. And so if you want to be some type of um, whatever you want, I mean, if you wanna be a safari guide, if you wanna be an artist, if, whatever you feel like you wanna be, you can have a name tag that uh, tells people who you are and what you are. So I went ahead and made myself a shape for my name tag and I just cut it out of construction paper again. You can do whatever you like. Um, this is yellow and I made myself a rectangle. I just wanted to make sure it would fit on my vest. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it somewhere right here. Before I glue it on, I'm going to decorate it and I'm gonna use some colored markers for this today. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a blue marker and I'm using this blue marker on green, I'm sorry, on yellow paper, which makes a green border, which is fun to experiment that way. You can see how the border turned green because my pockets are green. I'm gonna take another marker, my Sharpie, and I'm going to write Miss Kim, because that's me, and I'm gonna write artist, because that is what I do. And I'm gonna put a heart on there, and another heart, just for fun. Use my markers, I'm gonna decorate it. And there I have a lovely name tag. I'm gonna use my glue stick. I'm gonna use lots of glue. And I'm gonna stick it on there. Looking pretty good. So there you see, I have my vest. Now if you wanna add more to your vest, you are welcome to. This is fun to do. You can make any type of decoration you want. Let's see if I can find it. Here's a fancy one. This vest, I did this across the back, and that's just paper, and that could be just marker on there if you wanna do polka dots. But I hope you'll have fun with these vests. You can decorate them any way you want to. In just a moment, we're gonna do a quick segment on how to make pockets that actually work. All right, guys, for this last segment, I'm gonna teach you how to make pockets that actually work for your vest. Before we get started with that, I just wanted to show you I've done a little work on my vest. Uh, I did some uh, marker work. I used an orange marker around the edges. I used that same marker on my green pockets and used a blue marker for some buttons. I added some polka dots to my name tag. You can do a lot with markers on construction paper and brown paper bags. It shows up, it still looks great. I just wanted you guys to see that. I hope you'll decorate these vests a lot so that they look really cool. Now to make a pocket that actually works, there's a lot of ways to do this, but the way I like to do it with my campers and my students 
is by using just a pencil. It is a sharp pencil and we are gonna be poking a hole through this bag, so you may wanna have an adult or your parents nearby just so they can help you, and just so you don't end up stabbing your finger or something. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold up the edge of our vest. We're gonna take the pencil and we are gonna poke a hole through the vest, okay? And so when you do that, that's the part where I just want you to be careful. Then you're gonna take scissors, put the scissors right in that hole, and you're gonna cut along the top of one of your pockets. So here you can see I have cut along the top of this pocket, and I did this one earlier. And so now there's some holes in the pockets, but if we use them like this, it looks cool like this, but the truth is the stuff would fall right out the bottom because there's nothing inside to catch it. So we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna fold our vest inside out again. And this is another time where you might need an adult, but maybe not. Just do it gently and carefully. It's a little bit wonky, but as you can see, it folds inside out. And you're gonna see where those holes are, those openings where those pockets are, okay? And so in order to make something that holds items that you put in there so that it doesn't fall out, you need to use some more paper. So I'm gonna use some brown paper just because I have a brown paper bag and I've got some brown paper. Use any kind of paper you have. First, I'm gonna fold it. Again, this is the old hot dog fold, no, hamburger. This is the old hamburger fold. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, again, the shape of our pocket. This one, though, I want you to make it pretty big. It's probably even bigger than the actual pocket and that's not a bad thing. But what I want you to do is draw it Take a moment and cut that out. And when you cut like this, you end up with two pieces and that is makes your life a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is we're going to place these over the openings in our bag. So what I mean by that is we're going to, and here's the opening, we're gonna have the top of our pocket be just a little bit higher than the opening. That way when you flip it back around and you put something in your pocket, there's only one place for that thing to go and go into the pocket. So we're gonna hold this down and we're gonna use little pieces of masking tape because we don't need to use big pieces for this. So I'm just gonna start with my masking tape. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna tape all the way around the perimeter of this paper I cut. And these little pieces allow you to go around the corner because the bottom is round. So I will do this and hold this up for you. Sometimes it's easier to rip the little pieces off ahead of time so that all you have to do is use them. And sometimes you just do one piece at a time like I'm doing. All right, so I went all the way around for my first pocket. Do you see how I can't see the opening anymore and I taped all the way around, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing right now to my second pocket. I'm going to make sure it's just a little higher than the opening. I'm gonna tape all the way around. It's important that you really use this tape in a way that seals your pocket off, otherwise you're gonna have holes in your pocket. And you know what happens when you have holes in your pocket? You lose stuff, nobody wants to do that. So make sure your pockets are nice and sealed so that nothing falls out. Okay, so I have taped now all the way around. See how I'm pressing it down? I don't want that tape to fall off. I've done two pockets. So. All you gotta do now is flip this thing back around. Just do it gently. It's like I said, this is very sturdy paper. Just be gentle with it. And voila, there's your vest, looks great. And before we go, I just want you to notice that you've got a beautiful pocket that holds things. You can put anything you want in there. And like I said, if I could wear this, I would, but I can't put it on, but you can, and I hope you do. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Arts Hub Online. Have a great day. Next week, we're gonna use a different type of bag. We're gonna use a lunch bag. 
And this one's white, but you can use a brown one as well. But we're gonna learn how to make puppets. And this is a puppet made out of literally the same type of white bag that you might pack your lunch in. They're really fun to use and they're cute. See you next week.